Motoland, let me tell you about a unique challenge we had introducing my Ford Touch technology to the manufacturing plant. With my Ford Touch, we really combine more of the interior system of the vehicle, the instrument cluster, the center sack, and the buttons, all into one system. Now that one system really creates a lot of complexity when it comes to all the different variations a customer can order. Since it's all software driven, we have the opportunity to configure it with software. But rather than just talk about it, let me show you. Process starts here, operator gets into the vehicle, turning the vehicle on, which initiates the sync system for communication to the rest of the plant. Now, let's carry through the rest of the process, but let's have you start building the car. Let's we're gonna, go. We're gonna build the car together? We are, but I'm gonna watch you. So here we are at the first step of the process where the diagnostic connector is inserted in and runs a complete test of the electrical system, make sure everything is hooked up properly. That initiates the process then for the downloading of the software to wirelessly to the sync system. So that's what you're gonna be doing. Okay, so how do I start? Grab the connector. You got cool stuff here, Jim. Okay. And okay. insert it into the diagnostic connector that's underneath the instrument panel. Okay, job done. It's running a complete test, test to make sure that switches are hooked up, the sync system is powered properly. Really, an entire electrical check of the vehicle to make sure that everything is assembled properly in the vehicle. And then it initiates the next step of the process, which is downloading the software. So you remove the plug after it says complete. Yes, boss. And we're ready to move on to the next step. I want my union benefits. The process you started by plugging in to the diagnostic connector started downloading data through these access points to the vehicle, very specific information to that vehicle identification number, around 300 megabytes of data that completes in about seven to eight minutes wirelessly. Jim, that is an entirely new definition to the term build sheet. 